Hello everyone, Duke here with part 29 of this medieval, of this Byzantine's campaign, Medieval Total War 2. And we are picking up with a somewhat turn of uh, fortunes over here in the east, or well, our first successful counter-attack against the Mongols with the capture of Adana. Uh, we're hoping to yes, my lord. perhaps save yes, some my reinforcements lord. over uh, from Nikoja in there in time. This ought to slow them down so they can't replace their uh, elite units with more elite units and instead replace them with more militia type units. Accra and Jerusalem are both under siege. All Very heavy siege at that. But not an awful lot we can do about that right now. Uh, we can. Orders. I've, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to attack. I've got seven turns each to hold out. Maybe. And we never have enough money, unfortunately, to uh, recruit some men. I've always got to build like someone's walls and what have you. So, uh, Constantinople is safe again. So let's. Um, of course, my lord. Yeah, I'm not those generals north. And I'm watching these guys up to see burn, which unfortunately the gates weren't open, so we've got to be patient. We've got two big armies here when that I'd like to use. I haven't forgotten about them. I'm thinking about either sending them to Spain or to France. Uh, or Gaul, I should say. Um, let's... Yeah, taking Cordoba. Or Granada. I think Granada's here. And that's a fort. If we could take the Granada, that would be a really good base to start reconquering Spain from. But we need a big old navy if we're going to do that, because uh, who knows what's lurking in the shadows here. There could be... Yeah, plenty of Mongol navies that could sink that army. So, um, which, That's going to take 11 turns to besiege. The Sultan's in there. Interesting. But we're not getting in there without catapults, that's for sure. And all the nearby catapult producing areas are like Palermo and Giacchio. We do have these catapults we could try sending, I suppose. Yes. But it's a pretty perilous journey over there. So, might be happening soon. But if we can take Algiers, I think now that's going to stem the um, constant attacks from the Moors over here. So that's good. Vienna. Yes. Uh, let's. I think we need to take out these rebels on the way anyway. So let's go. Take it. Oh, for goodness sakes. More rebels. Right, save the game. Right, we've got another battle here. Um, let's get going. Um, if we take them out, then we'll march on them. In. I, I'm sure that Tobermeros will be fine in Vienna. He's got a very tired and battered, but still strong force in there. So I think he'd be okay if he got attacked. Um, but these men are, are loyal to their old general. Fiercely loyal. And nothing's going to stop them from reuniting with him. Fighting with him once more. So let's... Let's get around him. Nice. And you guys... Fire from the front. Right, chase those Magyars down before they do any real damage. This is fire the crossbows as well. Whilst they're mobilising. That's it, go get those Magyars. They're off already. Splendid. A wavering. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their oh, no, the on got there first. Praise That's actually to bad. <laughs> our men have die. slain the enemy general. Now he's met the right, enemy. End. All end. Of <laughs> end and move on. For any more casualties. Alright, there go those Hungarian bandits. Today is ours, Lord. Right. The enemy now they're beaten. only a day's march away Orders. from Vienna. Day's ride. Yes, Lord. You are no Plenty of Germans around here. I think Innsbruck, though, is going to be very good for us. 15,000. We might actually need to exterminate that. That's going to be extremely rebellious. It's got some really good buildings in it. Yeah. I'm excited to see what we can get in there. Anyway. Venice, two turns away from, from capture. Uh, right. 
Ah, I'm so glad we took Cardano back. It's like, like we were capturing a Giliath or something. For Gondor! For Gondor! For Constantinople! <laughs> for Byzantium! Against all the odds, they mucked up there, left a little Ute army there that was allowed us to take out a family member as well. So how many good family members do they have left? They got this guy, Kuo Khan. This guy is a beast. Kula Do. Kentar, that's three. This guy, Batu, four. Hang on, four. Not bad. I think that's. I think. I want to say they have about ten. Maybe a bit more when they start. So, the more good generals we take out, the weaker the armies become because they, the morale impact of their generals will be reduced. I think that's what Dread does. The high Dread, it makes enemies flee quicker when they're near that general. Okay, I don't think there's any more to do this turn. I think I'm going to end the turn. Your Majesty. See what happens. Oh, we can see. Yeah, let's send the spy out. Let's have a little nosy. Investigating to go there, have a little look. As you wish. Yeah, there's really not without a trace. Many Be French gone. soldiers here. That's great. You are not my I think taking out that army. Um, I will destroy you for the glory let's really of slow them down. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna end the turn. Oh, that is so lucky. They got a family member right in the army that needed it. You lucky, lucky, lucky French soldiers, you. Look at that. My Lord, <sighs> Wish we could do that. Wish I could do that. That's when I needed. Okay, we're gonna lucky, lucky, lucky. That's what you are. So we're going to have to defend Genoa once again. But we had to take out those units eventually, I suppose. That Spanish Crusading army must surely be getting weak because they haven't made any progress for a while. It's annoying, though. It's just when they besiege cities like that, we, we lose out on the income of that city. We need to maximise our income because uh, we've got loads of things to build and recruit and retrain. So... Uh -huh. Getting a little too hot for you there, is it, Germany? Oh, go on, capture him. That'll, be, that'll make my day. Gotcha! Ah! Right, Vienna is safe. The Imperials are withdrawing. Okay, the Spanish are making progress once again. I think it, the, the Crusade won't finish now until all the attacking armies that have joined have tried, because I don't think Antioch's going to fall any other way. Uh, as I, said, I don't think there's going to be a successful crusade, um, crusading army. So the, the Crusade the will fail when attack. inevitably everyone's tried and failed. Disengage. That's what I mean to say. Retreat. This is as far as we go today, my lord. Ah, the Danes are going towards Antioch. I'd rather the Danes had Antioch, because it'd be easier to displace. But something tells me that they're not going to be able to take the city. But if they can put a dent in some of those armies, that would be nice. They can start taking tiny little cuts out of those Mongol heavy archers and stuff. Makes our job easier. Because they can't replace those at the moment. Well, not doing well on the navy front, at least, those Mongols. Now, now we've taken Adana as well. They can only recruit navies from Antioch. And if they want to recruit navies in Antioch, that's fine, because it means they're not re recruiting anything else on land. So I say go for it. What do the Papal States want? 
Nothing. Hey! Where did you come from? Well. Oh boy. Here it comes. Great battle of our time. Only two sets of ladders. A lot of rams. Did we end up getting ballista towers in this place? I'm not too sure. Hopefully we did. But that's a lot of cavalry. If they can't get in, we'll be quite neutralised. Uh... I don't see us winning this, frankly. Um, but I am keen to see how many we can take with us. I'm really curious about that papal army. So, yeah, so how, how did they do that? Is it because they have a navy? They can spawn a, a general on there, maybe. I've, I've never considered that, but maybe that's what they did. Um, oh, we'll just keep killing popes then until uh, they run out of cardinals, I suppose. Right. These guys aren't anything to worry about. I'm not worried about those. So it's one, two, three, four, five elite units. These are the things we need to worry about. If we can take those out, I don't think they can win. Let's have a look. Because my idea is to fall back to the city centre. Um, you know, behind the final layer of walls. So that their siege equipment is useless. The only thing is, if they have unlimited ammo, they can just shoot us to death. So, let's review the situation. Do we have ballistas? Let's see. I am not seeing any on the walls. Look at, oh, look at that ram right up the front there. Look at that. Deployed all their things like that quite far away. They're giving the rams to the light infantry. They're giving the ladders and the siege equipment to the heavy. Not a silly idea. That's all. Very smart. Right, where is our city defense? Okay, so there it is there. Is there, is there only one? No, there's a gatehouse there. So we could put... Who do we put on the outer? Do we put the weaker stuff on the outside? Chebazons aren't any pushovers, but they won't hold forever. And then put the more elite stuff to hold the walls here. The only way they're getting in is if they can ram them down. Can't ram them down, they lose. Actually, no, they don't lose because then they just shoot us. Or oh, wait. If they just wait, then we lose because I can't wait forever. I, I will inevitably die of old age. So we have to think. So who do we put in the middle then? Well, my gut tells me we should be putting our best to defend to the last. So, um, okay. I'm not committing to anything yet. I'm just mucking around. So let's put say a full unit there because they'll, they'll be coming up that way so we could fire them from that direction and then some units there I will not put anything on there unfortunately even more men on there more men on there put loads of archers on there just ready to fire down on them as I approach this second wall I mean an absolute metric button of arrows just firing on them from there. Then spears. I'm gonna. I might put all the spears on the city centre. If I'm honest, I don't. Don't see much use for them outside. They won't be able to fight much. Um, and I, I think they'll break as soon as the cavalry break through the first ram. So, but I want to have some men on here because I think it'll be good to. So they don't, if we could destroy some of their siege, if we could destroy most of their rams, you know, that, that'd be good. I could put. Two, two units of spears by the castle gate. There we go. Oh, it's such a pain to deploy here, isn't it? There we go. I'm starting to learn my lesson, of course. I don't think having those of men on the front line against the Mongols is a good idea just because they tend to break them very easily. Okay, can't go on that part. I'm going to keep some men on the walls so that we trigger the arrow towers. Forward. 
forward. Okay, I might, 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 I might put these two back. Can they go on these walls? Ah, that would be cool if they could, but they can't. Can I put them on them walls? Oh, what's the point of having walls if you can't use them? Can I put them anywhere around here? That would be really nice, because then they could fire on the... <sighs> they're good, but they're not perfect, these castle maps. That's full, so that's not going. But I don't want to commit everything to a f to the front here. It's just I don't want to lose like half my army, which I inevitably will do if I put everything there. So I think I'm happy with what I've deployed there already. Is there? So that's got three units on it. If I had to take that one off, that tower's not going to be gone, is it? No, it still fires. Good. All right. Okay. How about? No, I will. I'll keep these guys here. I, I haven't really got much use for them. I don't want to lose them all early on in the battle. I think four units of archers fine down, and they might be able to take out a few siege equipment pieces. But I don't want to lose um, a lot of my army here because if one unit flees, that will encourage a massive riot, and then they'll all flee and get cut to pieces. We've seen it before. Taylor old as time against the Mongols, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'm going to put flaming arrows on though. Just so that we've got a chance of destroying their siege equipment. Uh, that's the only reason. I think I would otherwise use normal arrows. I think they're more effective. But same here for now. I'll put fire arrows on them. In case they get a ram through. Let's go. Oh, Charles. You guys can certainly find that. Ram. And you're going to hold your formation. So far, so not good. I haven't got the other rams moving yet. That's good to see. Get a little close for comfort there. If only we had ballista towers, eh? They had to make sure work of that. Maybe we send a unit out to just attack that ram. Stop it from reaching us. Got a license for that ram, mate. Get back in before those archers reach us. Um, so yeah. it is unwise Horseman to praise the day before sunset. But Oops. our men are winning Therein. the battle. That's not good. Forging a worthy victory. Okay, that. <laughs> there you are. Well, whoops. The walls As are they say. no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Yikes. Oh well, they can't actually get to the um, city centre. So, they still need a ram. So, and they haven't got any, so. As in, they haven't got any bought up. So, they've only lost two spear units, that's all I've lost. Now they've got to survive all my arrow towers. <laughs> We don't need flaming arrows anymore, so let's turn those off. Let's turn these off as well. Now, hopefully, these units won't fleeing back won't open the gates of cavalry. Hopefully, they'll kill them all off before they reach them. Yeah, dear. No, we, that's fine. Woo! And stay out. 
Ground rule, Bridget. <laughs> Bring up Wolf's head. Oh, brilliant. It's on fire. Jammy. We're actually firing on it. I think we are. Yeah, we're firing on this group of soldiers here. That's good. How many men have we killed? Killed 33% of them? Are you kidding me? That's insane! Don't tell me the tactic this whole time is actually just to let them in and fire them from the inside. Talk about unorthodox. There's their general there. Bodyguard, there's... I not his name. Juba? I'm terribly sorry, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> have you met? Here he comes. Well, as long as we stay up here, we're fairly safe. How many more have we got? 38%, another 5% gone. Yeah, it's Mongol foot archers have been shot to pieces. Like that. I think so. Well, it's definitely a good idea we didn't commit everything to the, uh, like all our spears here then. They would have been cut down by the. I'm, I guess it was my mistake. I have let them in, but at the same time, they've entered a bit of a killing zone here. So, I'm not upset right now. I'm really not. Look how much, if nothing else, of the cavalry we've taken out. The only thing is, Akra is a fantastic castle, so... It's a shame to let it fall to their hands. Is that still firing? I'm going to turn off skirmish mode. This guy's on. Are you shooting at anything right at the moment? Gonna fire on the archers. There we go. I think we've got to give the orders ourselves at the moment. There we go. I think definitely an idea to fire on the units right behind us here. The clear line of sight. 48%, that's what we like to see. And these aren't even our crack troops. These are just our good troops. Best is yet to come, and they will well, be fine. Got a unit somewhere over here. I'm going to... Oh no, uh, they've wasted all their arrows shooting that unit. Crap. That's not good. And that visiting spear unit won't flee anymore. Uh, let's try and save the arrows now. Crap. <laughs> I was an idiot. But also a very smart move. Have that one man cavalry unit just bait all my archers. Who says the AI in this game isn't smart? That's exactly what it's doing. At least at the moment our arrow towers are doing. They're still active, so they're able to shoot a lot of the uh, enemy. Those guys don't seem to be coming on. That's good. I think I just flat out run out of arrows now with which to shoot at us, apart from these units here. I'm trying to target, but our men are all firing. Right, here comes some infantry. I wonder if they're going to send those up on the walls. Are they fleeing? Yeah, they're fleeing. I think, yeah, the Khan being nearby is just making them flee. No way. Oh, look at that. They're getting the arrows. Uh, arrows? Ladders? Into the next layer of defense. The enemy are badly bloody. Which is obviously fine. They have lost As in, their men. A, a sensible move. Um, but we are we are ready for that. So right, these guys have unfortunately the got out of arrows. In our favor. That was my mistake. If we remain true and wholehearted. Um, let's get ready to fly. Will be ours. Here comes the next lot of. Uh, hopefully, our arrow towers can deal with that. These guys have run out of arrows as well. Oh, I really screwed up there. Those guys might open the gates for them. 
to the AI I might have tactically stopped them withdrawing from there. So I can't do anything about them. I can't target them. Fire those watches. Oh, that, that thing just caught fire. That's fantastic. So there goes another ram. Do they have any more rams? Have they got a ram in the city at the moment? I think they have. Here comes the ladder. So that's the thing we need to worry about. Because uh, our, our Byzantine guard archers, as good as they are, might still not be a match. Right, let's start firing again. I'm not opening the gates for you guys. I'm sorry. Can we target the archers, please? Something useful. There we go. One of the only ones with arrows, Mongolia. Yeah, take as many of them as they help possible. Like it. Our enemies' ladders have reached our right, walls. Let's really just hope here that our busy guard archers have some bottle in them. They're ready for a fight. We've taken a lot of those guys out with arrows before they reached us, so that's quite good. But at the moment, I think that what I'm seeing is just a lot of cavalry. So if we can take out the infantry, it's kind of it. It's kind of going game over. They've got this other unit of Mongol infantry, but they're still having to still survive Gauntlet. And I've even got these guys here, just... Okay, I'll keep them there, because then we can keep firing on that Mongol infantry unit as well with these arrow towers, so... Not a waste of time to keep those guys is in there. Our favor. If we are getting cut down quite badly by... I'm going to stop firing. Will be ours. Just gonna fight sorts because I, I don't want friendly fire. Eager, good. We've still got good morale. These guys, these guys are shaken. Now this is what proper Roman infantry can do. Look at this. Proper legionaries. And they have quite good armour on them as well. I think they've got Lamela. Yeah, only military genius could win this one. That's good to see. They've got loads of this infantry spare. In fact, they had kind of wasted there, so I could. Have they run round? That way, up that way? Yeah, why not? Let's, let's try it. Yeah, they can. Good. Let's attack them from both sides. Uh, having men on there should keep the gatehouse secure. <laughs> Tense for them right now. Are they resigned to their fate? The standing guard outside the castle. Like right, they're fighting to the death, so that's good to see. They're basically routing. Oh, unfortunately, no, that's not how it works. Okay, they can't go along that way. Never mind. Right, these guys. Oh, it's so much more trivial holding the Mongols back when you have decent infantry. It's a whole different ball game. Well, that's not all the archers yet. We still have more of them coming. Nice. I just want to be deploy that all a bit. Um, like that. There we go. Thick in our defense. That's... Is that the other unit that was on its way up with the ram and then that got destroyed? Can't tell. 40 men. Okay, I'm not worried about that. If we held off the other units, we'll have no problem with that. There's their Khan. Oh, that's a building with a ladder on it. I thought they put their ladders up on that building somehow. I saw a ladder on... I thought that ladder there was one of their attacking ladders. That would have been a bold strategy. Right. I'm very impressed with the my visiting guard archers. In our favor. 
If they we are much better than all the other units that are holding the enemy at bay. Victory will be ours. Suddenly the advantage of these Mongol infantry is sort of disappears. Right, let's start fighting again. I think now that we've got the infantry pushed back, start firing on these horsemen. Start thinning their numbers a bit. There's one more round for them, and they've got 11 men pushing it. Somehow, I think we're safe now. What's great is if we run out of arrows with our archers, we still have the arrow towers. Like they're being petty now and getting our fleeing spears. Yeah, look at that. We're 92% if we win this battle and he can kill the Khan, that should, that should kill the army, I think. If that's how it works. Oh, buggerinos. They actually made it. My fleeing units, you must fight one last time. Kill that Mongol. Uh, uh, kill that Mongol ram. Come on. Don't let them in. Oh, never mind. We've got these units here. I need to fight. Grave tidings! Our enemy are at the gates! They will not be so easily pushed aside. Yeah. Still got quite a few units. But... I'm going to start talking about Khan. He's got the most intake. <laughs> like, finally, you can get in now. Serves those with fleeing units. We're safe at last. All right. Hopefully, they're not going to reduce the morale of my men here. All right. Hold them off. Sole purpose in life. Keep firing on. You can fire on those Mongol heavy archers. Yeah. The battle is in our oh. favor. If we remain true and wholehearted. Actually, stop firing, then. We're, we're just going to risk friendly fire here. There's not much to do here. I'm just going to speed up the battle. I'm keeping these guys here as well. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be much use on the ground, to be honest. Look at that. Look at the devastation. Look at that. That's a massacre. Let's keep fighting these guys. I think we've won this. I'm sure we've won this. Someone's firing these guys. They seem to be doing it pretty accurately, so I'm actually not going to stop them. That unit. Yeah, it's fine straight like this. If it's straight like this, I trust it to be a bit more accurate, so I'll, I'll keep it. It's when they fire way overhead, that's when it's just like rain, and you can't really aim it. Oh, if we can get the car on as well. Where is he? Is that him? No, that's not him. You should have a very pointy hat. Oh, Where are you? There he is. Right on the wing. Our guys are shaken, eager, but they're not out. And they've done they've done the work. Even if they flee, I won't be upset. They've held very well here. Bodyguard, you know. get the Khan. That's another amazing founding member of the board, and not just that, an entire enemy army of the board. An entire Mongol stack on. Unfortunately, I find these Mongol generals have insane hit points. So, let's just hope for the best. But this is all they have now of their army 99% of their army is dead. Yet they fire on. They, think they, they still think with this motley crew they can win the battle. That's the kind of morale we're up against. It's just, it's just the general now. That's all they have. It's just the Khan. Not the Khan. I don't think he's... I don't think he's the Khan. I think he's just a family member. I don't know where the Khan is at the moment. It might be him. I do. Look how many hits he's taken. Alright, everyone. Oh, it's, you've got a Mongol infantryman fighting as well with him. Alright. Get down from that wall. Season. Go get that. Yeah. He's going to finish that unit off on his own. 
let's go save. Let's get that seven man unit back. So that it might survive. This guy's insane. There we go. General lies dead. Got him. Good, I didn't okay, it said general, not the dog. sultan or whatever. By the Lord so above, our foe has been much humbled. <laughs> Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. That's great. Batu is gone. Accra holds. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. That's fantastic. My huge mistake at the back, at the beginning of letting them in through the gate actually worked out great. Uh, just let's keep those guys. There it is. That's a whole stack gone. That's beautiful. That's why we want to get those uh, uh, Byzantine guard archers into Adana. So they're clearly the secret to holding a fort. And it doesn't look like they've besieged Adana this turn. So we might actually be able to get some in. Yeah, they're walking right past us. They're go going toward Antioch. Ah, oh. It was ambitious, but hey-ho. But look at that. That means like Kernium and Cesare are safe. They've had to turn back and completely revert their progress. That's it's that's fine. It, the we're slowing them down. Siege, my lord, but God is with us. Okay. Right. Someone died. Oh, quite a few messages here. Was it your right. brother I killed? You all look alike. To it's still me. a pretty intact army. That might be all right to hold. They you take the walls quickly. No right. Rocket launcher. Once you are my prisoner. Yikes. Right, set one besieged Adana. Yep. Construction report. Trebizond. We can now get uh, Trebizond archers. Seems appropriate. Let's then get Jewel Square. And Adana built a chapel. Because they're going to need all the faith they can get by now. Coming of age. Dragos. Ooh, another, another general. Dislikes the Tur I'm getting a lot of dislikes the Turk stuff, but don't really need that right now. <laughs> They're not coming back. Your orders, number one. Okay, I tell you what, he's actually wife is smart, unpleasant, and a wretch. Right, so I don't want him in castles. Actually, I just want him out. So you Your can. Your orders, number one. He's Your quite orders, a good general. Number one. Is he? <laughs> He's a good general, so I might send him up to command the Lord. Here, this other guy in um, Constantinople is maybe not a good idea. Maybe he can go on like watchtower building duty. Come, let us stain the. Your orders, noble one. Who do I face? Yeah, some pretty naff. Characters around here. Maybe the best thing to keep is just to keep them here. We march. Yes. Orders, Your Majesty. Okay. Right. Anywhere I've got. Nowhere's upgraded this turn. That's good. Scotland at war. Scotland and France. The bloody bear. And Denmark and England have declared a truce. Right. Nice to know there's some other wars going on. We're not doing all the heavy lifting. Bologna. Excellent. Yes, I wanted to put those into this army, didn't I? Move out. Uh, I wanted to put that yes. there, that over there, and then that in there. Yes. And I'm going to disband that. Just because they're quite expensive to upkeep. 
First enemies always are. That's about to surrender, and then when it is, Name does. Enemy, Lord. Um, this army will be ready to... Fight again. I wonder if you can get... Where did we get that trebuchet? Was it... Was it right? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was thinking about replacing it with a Let me strike, more my Lord. intact version, but it could be a while before we can get it to there. Uh, so, yeah, we'll bother with that either. We're about to get Venice back. We like that. But how good is that, guys? Acre has held. They're sending another army south. Me for your death. Could even... Oh, oh, actually, no, I won't tell you Why awesome. risk fight. it? Why risk such an amazing garrison on yes. your majesty. such a gamble? I'm going to just retrain some guard archers, I think. Get If we get full six Byzantine guard archers, I'll be quite pleased. I think we'll be able to hold with that. Yes, my master will reward me for your death. This army... Yes. All that is left for us is to fight. These Mongols... Yeah, if this Victory Danish army could attack, say, is that, is that for example. Fight me! Uh, and then my some of these. Will Just put a dent in something. That would be great. Taking out Badu. Struggle if you like. Where's their cart? I will that was the guy in here, isn't it? Oh, no, that's... That's, and that's the prince. Regardless. Who's that faction there, then? Uh, family. Uh, the cart, as well. Must be over here in the shadows somewhere. Okay. Alright, let's just get some archers. They're clearly a winning strategy. Okay, Vienna. We've got the Holy Roman Empire's uh, guys. We could send these guys out to chase. Either way, we've got to go through Vienna. So let's go in there. Top of the Manos, you join. I think he gives like movement bonuses and stuff. That's why. Um, we train those. Nah, I actually recruit some militia because then we can move on. Who do I face? I'm just thinking I'd like to take out one of these guys while they're away. The but the faction heir there, and he's a good general. If you are the enemy, and he's a good general too. That won't hurt me, dumb cop. It's just that if, I think if I went after that guy as well, he'd probably withdraw and then we likely won't catch him. So we may as well go after someone that we can definitely reach. Yeah, sounded quite expected. <laughs> um, that'd be a really easy fight as well. Let's do that. My lord, should we spare any of them? Okay, I won't do an eye battle then. That just gives them a star, but we've already got max stars. Fritz and Volkmar. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Waste no time as sparing enemies this day, man. Oh, it's going to be good to take these guys out. Right. Units, I wait my orders. Units, units, punch. Let's move up. Not bringing up top of the mountain, so you're too valuable to lose. Not least because you're my only general in this entire front. But he's also one of my best generals. So. Surround these guys. Let's try and keep casualties to a minimum because we can't really replace them at the moment. Ugh. General's gone on a suicide charge. Hate him. These guys are really <laughs> taking the skirmish in order quite seriously. I'm quite ragged. Right, the Spear Militia is quite what, nice armour. Look at that. Charge downhill into them. Maybe just run into those guys from the side. These two should be taken out. 
general's bodyguard there is fleeing, so let's get ready to intercept. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half Where can their the men. Where the do you think? There you are. <laughs> okay. Fine. Top of Barrows accepts the challenge. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Anyway, General Fallen. Cool, we've got one of them. Right, these guys. Everyone come back. Save the commander. Ooh. Maybe stop shooting as well. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons Top of his men. Cannot be killed. Glorious heaven oh. above. Our men have captured the enemy general. I think that's Guard gonna be him enough. Well. Yeah. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us fleeing. defeat the rest Let's of his just army. Move so that they can flee. He's fleeing. Um, shooting with that. No, they're not. Right, let's just move off those guys that they can yeah, okay. end the of And that's two family members gone. I think one of them, the faction heir, and some good. Yeah, got both of them. The killer. Oh. And look at that. Show little mercy. They deserve none. Let me strike. He could give them. He could give the Mongols a run for his money. A run for their money. No wonder they had no chance fighting him head on. I'd really like to take a castle, but there aren't any nearby. The only near one, nearby one is Innsbruck. Unless we marched all the way back to Bran. That's the thing, unless you're playing as one of the militia heavy factions, expanding into this part of the map is really quite hard. Like, that's not our strength. We, we, we rely on castles for our strength. Who do I face? Is it not obvious I am your foe? Leading Moorish navy, so really doing my Is it not nutty. obvious I am your foe, infidel? Oh, yeah, that's right, the uh, hopes turned up again. All right, well, three Vardariotai should keep him at bay, so. Was that an attack? Yes, my lord. Ugh, you can't get anywhere, can you? Admiring the enemy. How about we... Drymons aren't particularly good. Fire ships, yeah. Yeah, we're not doing an awful lot of building at the moment. Partly because... Um... Money. Should where should we build? Could we build? Ah, let's get some of these back. Let's yeah, do that. They can't get any more at the moment, that's okay. You will have no rights. Once you yeah. are my I know it's hard to say because they they still have armies around, but if you think about it, if you if you imagine how many massive and good elite armies they start with, they are starting to get whittled down now. Like. I'd say that's probably their best army, here, this one here. Your lungs and women but if you think as well, this. if we had a repeat of Akra, we'd win. Because all we'd have to do is take out that infantry, and all these really good units on the sides here are just negated. They can't do anything with them. Uh, so let's just Orders. Command me. Yes. Yeah, move these guys up. My lord. Uh, I'll put Orders. Your Majesty. these in. I might dismount yes. the others. Combining for Orders. Your Majesty. They're tiny. Orders. Yes. Okay. Right, that's a good looking army, isn't it? Let's see if it has the chops to take out into them. No, our spy unfortunately didn't open the gates again. That's two when times 72%. What's, what's, what's the odds of that? Men, my lord. Let's have a look. Um, so, 0 0.28 times 0 0.28. Ah, that was basically an 8% chance of that happening. And it happened. There was only 8% chance of it not being opened again. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Um, but that's fine. It's not. Oh, actually, it is annoying because if they fall back to the final keep, it's going to be hard to get into. Yeah, so I actually will be patient and wait. 
When shall we attack the walls then, my lord? This Henry chap might be coming over to intercept us. Oh yeah, we got this guy. You desire battle, no? You desire battle, no? No. And they've blocked the way. Who do I face? Right, let's get in there then. It's two ships. I'm not going to risk fighting. Off the boat at once. Dump Let in there. Strike, my lord. Yes. Oh, we're going to make it back as well. Actually, we can, I think we can beat this. Prepare to board and engage. Challenge me. I think we can beat that. Attacking on your command. We sunk it. Good. But better to do that when we have nothing on there. Let <laughs> what we do. Yes, my lord. Get a fire ship on there. Start that, you imbecile! Imbecile. Right, well, this spy can march on. As you wish. March on. Move on. Investigating. So. As you wish. Leave me be. Wow, there's really nothing coming. Today's journey is over. Uh, yeah, the Moors have really abandoned Algiers. Not complaining. Sire. Really don't like how thin on the ground Aqua's getting, but very little we can do about that. I suppose I could have got more reinforcements into this army. Yes. Uh, is there anything we can cancel, building-wise? I think, think I'm being pretty efficient with my building this time. Did I do any building? <laughs> it's not a doubt if I did any. Uh, oh, I know why I did something. And it was actually quite a good thing to build, but... Money is needed elsewhere. This is making a lot of money, so let's get some roads in. Retrain that. And then, I can't even remember what I was going to do with the money I was making there. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I was going to get some more. Infantry. Uh, in the opposite. I was going to get more cavalry. Actually, can it, if I theoretically march down... Okay, we can actually march up. Infantry. In yes. time. So I could do that as well. Let's get some roads. Tunis. Actually, you know what? While we're here... That's better. Oh. And I, I don't really know many others off the top of my head, I will be honest. Uh, was that Nikea was Nicomedia? I think. I think it was Nicomedia. Roads is roads. I can do that later. But I just want... I know Carthage is definitely that. So let's... I don't know what this tunis nonsense is. Okay, I don't think there's any more to do, really. This army is stranded for now until we can get a navy up and running. Yes, my lord. We've got Genoa safe now. We've got reinforcements. I'm going to wait Let until... Me strike, my lord. Uh, I'm sure the spy will open it next turn, and then we can march in take that. Uh, top Who of the mouse, I'm actually not too sure what to do with them. Yeah. I think Stalfin is too far... No, maybe not. I think Stalfen would be within the borders of Rome. Oh, no, that's Bern I'm looking at. It's hard to... No, I think that's Bern. Yeah, I think Stalfen is that. It's a little too high up. So. That's that. So they want round two, those poles. Me. My master will reward me for your death. 
Yeah, sure, buddy. Yeah, I just want to keep taking out these me. Mongol armies bit at a time. So eventually there's nothing left. <laughs> and then we can just counterattack all these areas. Take them back. Get really rich. At least until the Timurids show up. I don't think there's any more to do. So I think I'll let the turn. And yeah, this part usually reveals if there's something we've missed. I'm not seeing anything. Hey! You better not. They always have a 5% chance no matter what. <laughs> Didn't come in handy there though, did it? And they've pulled back. They've all but given up. So now they're stranded. Easy pickings. Mustering some huge force there, the Germans. I call them the Germans in this game just because the Holy Roman Empire is always a bit of a mouthful. Or Imperials, I can say that. Uh, yep, they're definitely on their way to save Innsbruck. Because I might not even let them reach Innsbruck. I might keep the siege going, turn around, take out that army, then turn back, take the city. The Spanish are really screwing up this crusade. <laughs> they're going a very long way. Looks like they're going to march the steppe through Russia, down through uh, the Caucasus Mountains, going that way. They will find them a way or make one. Talking of crusades, I hope the uh, Danes are able to do some crusading this turn. Have they been? I don't think they've been. Uh, we're at war with Russia now. Joy. Okay, it looks like the Moors have landed both their armies. That's fine in the sense that it means we can take care of them now. And then I don't think they're going to come sending units that way again. So forget that. I think that'll be the last of them. We do share a teeny little border. I don't know if you can see in Trebizond, in Anatolia. Uh, we t share a dinky, tinky little border with the Russians there. So that means war was inevitable. All right, the Poles are really going out for Jassy. Oh, useless. These heretics are just bulletproof. I wonder if the Mongols will in fact turn around and try and take out the Danish crusading army. a twist. They've sort of given up on their like horde strategy, unless they're trying it here again. Focusing all their strength and going in en masse. Might be what they're up to now. Certainly not bothered about uh, fighting the Danes. Unless they've already done it. I can't actually see the... I'll have to scout them out when it's our turn again. <gasps> it is time. Battle for Jerusalem has begun. And what a battle it promises to be. That's not going to be easy. Well, that's not for today. That's for next time. This will not be easy. That's a tiny little family member size unit as well. 35. Maybe the attrition has to be. And we have got reinforcements, which is good. Um, yeah, we have cavalry that can sweep in and harass them from the side. But I think we've got too many units in the... Oh, we've got a catapult. That could do some that devastation. Put that on the city centre. 
and general is in the Mongol heavy archer unit. But one, two, three, four Mongol heavy archers. What well, Mongol infantry? If we can get those dead, we've won the battle basically. And we have some pretty strong units. Maybe enough to hold them off. I'm not, I can't even remember if we have ballista towers. I can never remember. We have ballista towers. That will help. But I don't think we do. Um, oh, that's going to be a really tough battle, guys. That's going to be really tough. But if we can hold them there, that will be excellent because Jerusalem is one of our victory conditions. We need it. So having Jerusalem and then reinforcing it from Gaza um, will mean that if we can keep holding them at Accra instead, we can start bleeding them dry. And of course, look at this, you know, the more stuff they send this way, the more free we are to send men, land them on Antioch. We could besiege Antioch with a big army, theoretically, starve them out. And Adana might just hold against Kuo Khan. Kuo Khan. Oh, there's still so many more Mongols to kill, but we are whittling down, hopefully, their elite stuff. So, anyway, that is for the next time. Uh, but I think in this battle, if we lose units, say, at the gates, you know, that gets wiped out, then the reinforcements will come in and we can... Yeah, because they won't come in all at once. We can only have 20 at most, which is a real pain. I hate it. I hate that feature, but that was the limitations of the technology at the time. So, anyway, join me next time, guys. Jerusalem, the, fight, the battle for Jerusalem has come at last. It will not be easy, um, but we have visiting guard archers as well as some trebles and archers so we just might hold them at the wall so I might gamble on a wall strategy try to hold them off there uh, put some spears at the gates to try and hold the cavalry off and then of course I'll put a whole bunch of spears in the uh, city centre as well try and hold them off there along with the general so don't miss any of it guys catch you in the next one take care